What's up everybody, Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles. Today I'm going to do a video on how to visually sex adult boas. This isn't foolproof, but if you're looking at them quickly, you can pick it up right away. This is something I said, no, it can't be done. you got to probe them, you got to palpate them. Uh, this is just going to be visual. So probing, palpating all have their own place. This is kind of specifically for breeding. I might put two male or two females together, uh, or I'm sorry, a male and a female together. And when I go to pull them out, as you saw and see in a previous video, on palpating, I don't know which one's the male and the female. I had somebody ask me, well, how are you telling? How did you just look at the tail and tell it's a male and a female? So I'll pull these two snakes out. These are probably good example snakes. They're both pissy, so I don't want to get bit, but we'll see. Um, and I'll compare them side by side. What I'm looking at are the spur lengths on these guys. So this is the female. And I don't know if you guys, how well you can make that out. Let's get her away from my face. So that's the vent. And see if I can get this to focus. There we go. So you can barely see any spurs, right? So this is the female. Very, very small spurs. This is a male coming up next. Also... Central American. So these are two of almost the exact same snakes. They look visually the same. Except you'll see the spurs on this guy. So let's see if I can get that to focus in again. See how big those spurs are right there? This little thing. It's hard to do with one hand. So let's see. see those spurs again so these are visible they're gonna be much larger this is for uh, most species of boas uh, I'm gonna go grab two more boas and show you these are gonna be uh, dwarf boas so I'm gonna pause this resume in a minute all right so we're back and I have two Tarahumara dwarf boas so these guys are adults breeding uh, visually I can tell the male because he's much he's a little bit smaller It'll look that much smaller, but size-wise, slender boas. Guys, maybe about three feet or so. But let's look at the spurs on this one again. If I can find the vent, these are going to be a little bit harder because they're smaller snakes to begin with. All right. So let's start with the male. If I can get him to calm down enough. So here's the male snake. And if you can look, if you look closely, no, nope, sorry, I have the female tail. So there's no visible spurs right around the vent. If we get the male, she doesn't climb on my camera. Sorry for this terrible video, but let's see if we can get it. Sorry guys, can't do it. Not by myself with one hand. So we got these snakes, but I think you get the picture. The male is going to have visible spurs. The female will have visible spurs as well, but they'll be much smaller compared to the male. So if you're looking at a snake at a reptile show or something like that, you may not visually be able to see the difference unless you have a known male and female sex side by side. Uh, I can show you in another video how to actually palpate. It, palpation only works on, well, it can work on even adult snakes, but you have to know what you're feeling for. Um, let me see if I can feel it on these. Yeah, these are a little bit too big to, to show you easily on camera. I can do another video with some babies, but hopefully this video helped a little bit on how to sex adult snakes, at least if you're questioning it. If they have little spurs, it's probably a female. Not always, uh, but if you have two snakes side by side, same age, about the same size, and one has significantly smaller spurs than the other, there's a really good chance, almost 100% chance, that's going to be a female uh, regardless. Because I could put these two in a bin, you wouldn't have a clue one by one. But if you look at them separately, or if you look at them together, 
you'd easily be able to tell the difference just by the spurs. So appreciate you guys watching again. Keep subscribing. Keep hitting that like button. Uh, give me some comments, some feedbacks. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks, guys.